Hi, my name is Linda and I love reading. And so what I'm going to do today is read to you this book by Joyce Meyer, Every Which Way to Pray. I really like this book because I, I like to know there are rules, but I like to know that the, I can work out and play outside the rules at times. So I really like this book. Every Which Way to Pray. It was a beautiful sunshiny day and the morning dew made every day zoo sparkle. As Haley and Harley, Hippo, scooted and skipped their way through the park, something in the distance caught Harley's eye. Look, the little hippo shouted excitedly. It's an angel. You see it? I don't think that's an angel, said Haley. Harley moved closer for a better look. It's a duck, he said with a pout. Suddenly a voice floated down from the rooftop. I'm a pelican, the bird said. Call me Pouch. I guess that's not heaven up there, is it, said Harley, disappointed. No, but the view is heavenly, Pouch chuckled. At least you're closer to God up there, said Haley. You'll never get that close to God, grumbled Harley. Hippos can't fly or climb. We're stuck here on the ground. You don't have to be high in the sky to be close to God, Pouch squawked. That's what prayer is for. Haley and Harley looked surprised. They had always thought of prayer as hard work. At least that's what it said in Harley's book. There are lots of rules for praying, Harley complained. You have to do it just right. Says who, asked Miss Bimble. She was on her way to the library. As everyone gathered around Harley's book, the little hippo pointed to a page that showed a family dressed in their best clothes, praying in church. Churches are wonderful places for praying, Miss Bimble said. But they're not the only place to pray, Pouch added. And you certainly don't have to dress up every time you want to talk to God. At least I don't, Miss Bimble giggled sheepishly. Me neither, Pouch grinned. Pouch and Miss Bimble explained that you can pray anywhere, on the train, at the library, under water, even at the ice cream shop. But please, cried Midge and Pidge, the town worry warts who were out on their daily walk. If you talk to God and eat ice cream at the same time, be careful. Good heavens, yes, you could bite your tongue or accidentally stick some in your ear. It could get very confusing, like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Harley turned to the next page in the book. You read it, he said, handing the book to his sister. It's got big words. Haley cleared her throat <clears throat> and read aloud, Kneel down with bowed head and folded hands. Folded hands, declared Pidge. That could be a problem. And you don't have to kneel, honey pie, said Midge. There are plenty of other ways to pray, said Pidge. Bob and the gang like to pray upside down, P Pouch chimed in. What else does that book say, asked Pidge. It says you should pray in a soft voice, Harley whispered, otherwise known as your library voice, Miss Bimble nodded approvingly. Good for some, but not for me, said Pouch, and he opened his beak as wide as he could and shouted, Praise God! God doesn't care if your prayers are loud, Pouch boomed. Or soft, Miss Bimble quickly interjected. You don't even need to make a sound when you pray. Amen. 
Wow, I had a hard time seeing what this says. It says, God is good. Lit by fireflies. Haley continued reading. When you pray, try to use special holy words. Harley closed his eyes and began to pray. Almighty God of thy most holy bounty of uh, holiness, herald be thy name. The word is hallowed, sweetie, Miss Bimble said, but you don't need to pray using fancy words. Pouch told the hippos to talk to God like a friend. Talk to him like you would to each other, he suggested. We can't do that, said Haley. Sometimes we talk about silly stuff. That's okay, Pouch said. God wants to hear from you, and I'm pretty sure he likes to laugh too. But how do we know how long to talk to God, Harley asked. Take as long as you want, Pouch replied. You can pray all day and night, continually if you'd like, Miss Bimble explained. I can even pray with just one word, said Pouch. Help! Suddenly, Sarge, the local police chief, ran up to see what the commotion was all about. You in the red, he barked at the crab. Hit the road before I write you up. Then turning to the others, Sarge said, so what's going on here? We're talking about prayer, sir, said Harley. We thought when you prayed it had to be perfect. Nonsense, snapped Sarge. Prayer is simple. You talk, you listen, you praise, you thank, you ask advice. You stay in touch with your, mas with your maker, period. Get it? Got it. Oh, and one more thing, Sarge added. It's got to come from here, your heart. Then he turned to the group. Any questions? No, that sums it up very nicely, Miss Bimble said. Uncle Sarge's, under Sarge's watchful eye, the group said their goodbyes, leaving the two little hippos with their new friend Pouch. I'm glad we can pray any way we want, Harley said. Me too, agreed Haley. We can be loud or quiet. We can kneel or stand or dance. We can pray in the mud or in the tub. But be very careful, Midge called out across the park. Soap can be very slippery, added Pidge as they continued on their way. So what do we do with this? asked Harley, holding up the book. I don't think you'll need that anymore, the pelican replied. Haley and Harley thanked Pouch for all the help and then gave him a farewell hug. As Pouch flew back to his perch, Harley turned to his sister. You were wrong, he said. I know, Haley replied with a smile. He really is an angel. Thank you, God. There's the book of prayer. It's useful, keeping the rain off the birds. That's it. All right. I hope you enjoyed Every Which Way to Pray. And I look forward to seeing you again. Be sure to tune in next Saturday for more fun reading. And I certainly do want to give you and share with you an air hug. Oh, here we go. Out to all of you. Take care. Bye.